But Myrtle's telling us, us about Cannabis Can Help SA. And Joe, there were some rules we needed. Yeah, so there's the t-shirt thing going down. So what we want, the, the t-shirt challenge for this week. And there's very, five very simple rules for it. We need you to do a little video for us. And what you do, rule one, look at the camera only. Okay, not that someone behind the camera, not someone that way, for instance. You need to say, rule number two, say as many of the words that you can think of for cannabis. So cannabis, da, gazol, da, da, da. And then when you've finished with all of that, you end off with the words, cannabis can help South Africa. Um, you need to have signed the petition to be eligible to enter. Um, use the hashtag cannabis, help, cannabis can help SA when sharing your video. And tag five friends and challenge them to do the same. And, like, we'll find a way to send somebody a prize of, of a sort. You know? Yeah, but basically it's the last of the run of a legendary T-shirt, basically. Yeah, it really is, and, uh, and we'd like to... I don't know how many runs we've do done it on another it. Another run. <clears throat> uh, there's a couple that I missed out over the years. People are a bit pissed off that there's a couple of things that aren't on, but I don't know. I'll have to do a review. Yeah. So, okay. yeah, um, we've had a couple of funny ones already. Um, it's, fuck, it's difficult. Mm. It's difficult, is it? But people get maybe 10 out of 52. And you've got to do it within the minute, and then people kind of run out of time a bit and go, cannabis can help South Africa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is there a minute limit? I'm I think there is a minute look. limit. Okay, okay so there's there? a minute yeah, limit? Yeah, yeah, there is a minute oh, limit. It's a one-minute gotta... limit. Yeah. Yes. Right. Uh, I stand corrected. <laughs> anyway. Could be, um, could be. Good evening. Hello, my darling. Hello, everybody. <laughs> um, you've been... uh, yeah, hello. Go ahead. Mm. Um, hello from the couch down the garden. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I'm here to report back to everybody on our week in uh, Cannabis Can Help South Africa land. So um, we've been rocking on with our campaign, and it's been a great fun this, this week just seeing how the campaign is gaining traction. Um, we think that the, that the campaign in its essence will probably extend beyond the end, end of June. We're just going to hit it really hard um, uh, during June so that we can get the conversation really going out there and then we can extend it until September. But of course, you only have until the 30th of June to sign the petition. And I'm sure that most of you have signed the petition already. But the thing is, is that we need to get every single person that you come across, I know we are a little bit limited at the moment, or people on your social media to also sign that petition, particularly the younger people that haven't been around for the last six years that the petition has been running. That, and I want to remind everybody about our Cannabis 101 challenge. So if you go on to last week's Hot Box show on the snippet, you will see that Marlene and I were speaking about the 101 challenge, which is basically to write the first chapter of our manifesto book. And, um, and that you will have the honor of going down in history as being having written the first chapter of the book, and that is to educate the lawmakers about the actual cannabis plant. What does it look like? We, no, we don't smoke the leaves, you know? Cannabis has got roots, and it's got uh, uh, leaves, and it's also got flowers, and it's got males and females, and so on. Um, the response to this particular challenge has been a bit slow, and I know that there's people out there who can do it. It doesn't have to be more than about three pages. It can have lots of pictures and only have a little bit of text, but we really want somebody from the public to actually write that chapter for us. Dear government, this is what the cannabis plant looks like, and this is how it grows, and this is how we smoke. Very, very simple. So hopefully somebody will rise to the challenge out there. And then later, Joe is going to tell, tell you about this week's challenge, which is, has to do, and let me just tilt my screen a little bit, has to do with this T-shirt, which all of you are very familiar with. Yeah. Now, you know that because we had to cancel D-Day, Fields of Green for All is a little bit cash-strapped. We don't have too many of these T-shirts left, and we can't afford to, to print another big uh, run of the T-shirts. So we would really like to sell, sell what we've got left, so that we can order more. And that's what the challenge is all about. And you'll know that this t-shirt has 52 different ways of saying Dacha, cannabis. And we are challenging you to try and remember and make a little video of as many um, of these words as possible. And Joe will tell you all about it and the rules. Uh, so that is this week's challenge. 
And then this week we've also been speaking about legacy cannabis and how to preserve what all of us are doing already so that we can go forward without too much ado. It's been quite a serious week uh, when it comes to the content. We spoke about gender equality and sustainability because, you know, sometimes we've got to be quite so serious about this. So Suresh, our dear stakeholder manager here at Fields of Green for All, wrote an awesome blog about what sustainable cannabis uh, means and why we have to talk about sustainability in South Africa. It doesn't work to be bigger and better and um, try and make this huge big export market in the next few weeks. It's not going to work. It's all about us legacy cannabis people being the first in the line. So uh, go back and have a look this weekend when it's, it's going to be freezing over the whole of South Africa. Take your phone, read our blogs that we've published this week so that you're familiar of what that essence is that we're fighting for to try and make our, our uh, cannabis industry sustainable in South Africa. And interestingly enough, we watched a webinar yesterday, Jules and I, about the, about the uh, cannabis industry in Canada. And they had Canadian experts. We, we've shared that webinar. Uh, they're Canadian experts actually saying how, what a mess. I mean, I could use stronger words, but uh, what a mess it really is in Canada when it comes to their legalization model and how it's not working. And we, of course, have had the incidents of canopy growth pulling out of the whole of Africa in March, uh, just at the start of COVID. So um, this, the, the, the serious side of this campaign uh, is, is really, really important. So when you've got a chance, if you can go back and read our blog so that you know. And when you speak about cannabis, you speak about us small guys. And the guy who sells the matchbox on the corner, we've always said that cannabis is not legal in South Africa until that guy on the corner who's selling his matchbox is allowed to do that as well and put food on the table. Yeah. So that's my rant over for right now. And... Um, don't forget about the 101 challenge. It's nice winter weather. All of us are locked down at home. How's about getting those creative juices going? Hit that bong and write that chapter for us. It doesn't have to be long. And we would really, really like to see a South African citizen contributing that that chapter to, to our manifesto. Yeah. And then uh, Joe is going to have to unzip her hoodie and reveal her t-shirt. <laughs> Let me do that. The, uh, and then I can tell you about challenge. the rules. Yeah, and, and, and how you can do that and how you can submit our, our video to you, uh, to, uh, your video to us. <laughs> and um, and yeah, and then next week we're going to go, we, with our challenge, we're going to be getting into the nitty gritty of the regulations and what we want it to really look like on the ground. So keep using that hashtag um, cannabis can help uh, SA. Uh, there's a whole lot of other hashtags that you can find on our newly um, minted cannabis can help SA page on our website. That's a heck of a page. It is. Yeah, you can go to fields of green for all at .org .za and you can click on our little South African flag logo there and get to that page. And most importantly, I'll sign off with an appeal for everybody to become part of our digital street team. So between our awesome uh, web developer, Robin, and the team at Starbright and the team at THCA, they put together this digital street team pack. So I know that there's all tons of warriors on the show tonight. So all the warriors, please go there, download the digital street team pack. There's everything from a banner for your Facebook uh, all the way through to stuff for you to print. We've got all of our sticker artwork on there. Um, we've got videos for you to share. And if you're having any problems with the, with the street team pack or there's something that's not there, then just get hold of us. You can phone Charles on our office number or you can get hold of us on our website. Um, but I think that next week is the week where we really start to draw everybody in and then we can have a bit of fun. You know, we've also got to balance the stuff out with all the serious stuff and with the fun stuff. <coughs> we have all our digital street team between now, the end of June when the petition is due and on into the, the rest of the year, then I think we'll get some momentum, momentum going because this is really all about having our voices heard. And we we know that the government. <laughs>